coming up on this show this evening. Have you ever dreamed about living a Mediterranean lifestyle? Well, new research shows that two thirds of British adults want to live a more Italian lifestyle, la dolce vita. And a third of us who have visited Italy claimed it inspired them to rethink their entire approach to life. And 45% want to slow down and adopt the dolce vita philosophy. Well, tonight I'm joined on the show by Italian Michelin trained chef chef Gio Renzo Fiorso and he's cooked for the likes of the royal family, musicians and sports stars as well. Gio joins us now. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Hope the same for you. So talk us through this new research then. We've discovered that uh, two-thirds of us want to live a more Italian lifestyle. So uh, why is this? Well, there are so many reasons. It could be basically Fiat did a study and they found out that 67% of people living in the UK, they would like to have a more relaxed or more Italian lifestyle, let's say. Um, I, I guess there are so many reasons. Mainly, you know, nowadays, everything is about food. You switch on television, there is food on the channel, maybe traveling, most of the places in Italy. Uh, so I guess it's one of the first uh, place, basically, that um, people want to go on holiday. and. Once they are there, they realize that they knew already what Italy was about. But eventually, it's much more than that. You know, every single detail see, become a ritual, an obsession. Uh, the dolce vita means the sweetness, life, the the way to enjoy life, even in a, in, in the small details. Now, I've also discovered that out of those who have visited Italy, a third claim it was so impactful that it actually inspired them to rethink their entire approach to life, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, imagine you are there for holiday and then eventually something that you've been doing all your life, you realize that you've done it in the wrong way. For example, having a coffee. Everybody's busy. You are between one phone call and another one. So you go for a coffee thinking about work. Or the phone call. When you are in Italy, it's the other way around. You go to the bar because you want to have a coffee, you want to relax, you dedicate five minutes of your life to yourself and you actually think about the coffee rather than thinking about work or anything else. So it's the concept of uh, enjoying life. So once you are there, you see how people do it and uh, most of the people like it and they want to, to do something similar. Now, I'm going to shock you by telling you this, but I've never been to Italy. So at the moment, we're currently planning our trips for the rest of the year. So where should I visit then? Um, everywhere is beautiful, uh, let's be honest. The thing is that people don't realize how big Italy is. Uh, from one top to the other is 1,200 kilometers. So it's a very long country with different culture, with different weather. A lot of beautiful city, and also it depends uh, how many time, um, uh, how much time you have. You know, uh, Bologna, I love Bologna, I love Florence, and of course I love Venice. So there are so and, and Rome, of course. I mean, there are so many beautiful towns. Tell me about the La Dolce Vita guide because uh, you've put together thirty-five top tips on how to emulate this lifestyle, haven't you? So yeah, of course, uh, Fiat came out with the La Dolce Vita guide and they create a group of experts uh, covering food, uh, coffee, design, pizza, general lifestyle and mixology. And with all those tips, basically we try to help people here in UK in, in the normal life to recreate a little bit of Italian essence and improve the lifestyle. Let's talk about uh, cooking pizza. So why is it so important that we actually cook pizza in a frying pan? Well, uh, the thing is that if you are at home, like a normal home, and you do not have a pizza oven, because for make a pizza, you need at least 450, 500 degree. Now, in that case, there is only one way to recreate a proper pizza at home, which is cooking it, the first part, in a frying pan, and then finish it off in the oven, with the, with the grill on, basically. So it's a technique where you can concentrate all the heat that you can, and you cannot go as much as 400, 450 degrees that we need, but you can be close enough even by doing that at home. So what is the best pizza then? Best pizza, well, there are so many types, so many different styles, and 
historically talking, when we talk about pizza, we talk about Neapolitan pizza. Uh, it's not for everybody taste because it's a little bit more chewy, uh, less cooked. But if you are a pizza lover, that's what you go for. And usually, if you're a pizza lover, you go for a margarita. Nothing more yeah. than that. And should we put pineapple on a pizza? Yes or no? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I think the answer is no. But, you know, again, everybody is free to do what they want. And eventually, I know that a lot of people do enjoy the flavor of pineapple on pizza. So who might say no? I'm pretty sure it's not the right way to enjoy the Dolce Vita. Now, I spend a lot of time in a Tenerife, and um, over there, when it comes to doing the Hawaiian pizzas, as well as the pineapple, they put banana on the pizza as well. Is that wrong? For me, yes, but not for, uh, for many other reasons, mainly because when I think about pizza, I think about a savory dish. I'm expecting saltiness, you know. So uh, even, for example, a classic uh, dessert you can find in a pizzeria is a Nutella uh, chocolate pizza, which it can be good, but again, it's not really my cup of cake because when I go for a pizza, I want something savory, I want saltiness and I want minerality, and that's what my brain is expecting from a pizza. So anything else is a little bit strange for me, to be fair. You've cooked for many celebrities over the years, so uh, who's been your favorite? Uh, I think I'm very lucky because almost all of my customers are amazing, and uh, again, a lot of celebrity, uh, TV, TV actors, football player, and I guess I don't really have a specific one because I'm very lucky and all of them are very, very nice and they always enjoy my food and treat me very well, so I must be very lucky. Now you've also cooked for the royal family, so are they into Italian food? Um, I think they are more, um, they are more strict toward like a a British concept, but yes, of course, they, they are open to a little bit of Dolce Vita as well. So Gio, any exciting projects coming up then that we should know about? We got so many things going on and we are collaborating with Fiat now for a long time and we got much more projects coming up and all of them are connected to the living life at its best with the, with the Dolce Vita and nothing specific, but so many things going on and very soon we're going to reveal them. Well, Gio, it's been lovely talking to you, and you have inspired me to go and book a trip to Italy. Thank you for joining us on the show. You should. Enjoy Italy.